To manoeuvre the ball this way and that. Or just pound the living daylights out of it. Oops, a daisy. That one just got away from Poro. But they've saved the day. Well, net touch according to the referees. Perugia not convinced. And Milano limp. Takes the pace off to make sure of it. Still a good serve. And nice mobility from Yuki Ishikawa. The Japanese captain is into the match. Well, Yuki's got to have a great night for Milano as well. He's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders to be one of the top scorers. Kind of be that player out on the court that is... On that middle phase. Perugia blockers just trying to read and go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's huge from Catania. And that is just a brilliant point from Milano. Like we said, Simon, he was going to get his digs at some point. There was a massive dig right there. Nearly hit the rafters in the arena. It was a great dig. Here we see it down the line. Seam. Look at him standing right in the perfect position. Leaves the line open, but takes all of area five. And then this swing against the triple block from Ishikawa. Hard, but he can put a lot of top spin on it. And it's generally tricky to pass trouble again oh good save from Ishikawa earns himself a second swing and plants it on the floor steady from the Japanese superstar yeah really a, a, a skill that he has to play the ball off the block even in a simultaneous contact such as that one then the wherewithal to get his feet back to the ball in the second chance to score that one but Perugia have been made to work for this Good swing, good pass from Catania, Ishikawa, yes, keeps Milano in the set. And Herrera on to block, doesn't quite manage to do his job. 24 all, Plotnitsky will be back in. That was a great play by Milano, and credit to... In terms of human capability. And all you can do sometimes is stand and get hit. Oh, that's good. <laughs> That's good. Is there any player in the world right now that can control a ball as well as Ishikawa? The angles that he attacks the ball at when there is a skill that really Ishikawa has mastered. Like you'll see a well-formed block in front of him and he goes for that third blocker coming across. Catches the hands and that ball goes uh, to the fans. So if he can step things up again can Ishikawa third hit in a row and <laughs> this time just the two blockers to beat and does it easily yeah that's a great play from Poro keeping it in system and in tempo with Ishikawa as Poro came across the net stays and Tara has hit a couple of them and that's a big serve as well that's tight and very very well done what a tempo ball from Poro to Ishikawa. An absolutely perfect set from Poro. The pass was a little bit tight. It was from Reggers. He's stepping in, but then one on one, Janelli giving Ishikawa way too much line to swing, and he takes full advantage of it with that no look crossbody line swing. Get that ball through the block and down. Semenyuk serves. It's a good one. Milano's pass is going pretty well here. And it's just giving Poro options to at least get a little bit of daylight for his hitters. Well, when it's Yuki Ishikawa on the left side, you have to know that Poro is going to go to him as much as possible. And if Milano wants to win this second set, they've got to get it to that man right there, Yuki Ishikawa. Yuki time, as I believe you called it in the quarterfinals. Oh, it's another cracking serve. Paolo Polo has managed to hit the middle blocker with his service about five times in this second set, and it is causing havoc for Perugia. Now the combination of Yuki time, Simon, and the serving of Poro, you're absolutely right, has caused a lot of issues. The serve reception on Perugia's side. Now Milano has already still able to snap it back to the corner for the point. Never backed off that hit. That was incredible. Shikawa, ball behind him, finds a very nice tip to create the point for Milano. Targets that middle blocker playing de 
offense. Unfortunately, it's Flavio this time as Ishikawa goes with that roll shot over the block and Flavio just a little late to react to it. 24-24 set points to Perugia. Bentara off pace, what a pass from Vitelli. What a tempo ball to Ishikawa. That's stunning. Yuki time right when they need it here at the back end of set number three. He's going to get a lot of opportunities now. Even going up against Ginelli. Reaches to him, opens up that cross court seam for Yuki to find. What a swing by him. And then to stay. Same and continue here in the Allianz cloud. It's been a brilliant game to watch so far. And Allianz Milano, the home side in blue, are looking to extend it all the way to a tiebreaker to 15 points. Great start. Kaziski with the serve. Block does its job. And Milano put the first point on the board. Yeah, right out of the gate, Simon Ishikawa coming all the way. Now, four aces. Oh, it's another brilliant shot. Gianelli saves it. Pentara tips middle. Catania read it early. And Milano have re reacted brilliantly there. And again, Catania, what a dig. That is stunning volleyball. You're speechless, unreal, aren't you, man? You're speechless. Effort, just <laughs> speechless, an unreal effort by Catania. That man right there, number five, doing his job, doing work through the back row to keep the ball alive. Watch him get this tip over the block. Now Pardo comes back with his demon serve. Here's the rotation that causes Perugia problems. And Milano score off it again. Trouble here for Perugia. Serious trouble indeed, Simon. A great block touch that Kaziski put in a perfect pass for. And then again, one on one with Ginelli against Ishikawa. Yuki delivering the goods that time from the left side. And Simone Gianelli did not like that. From the service line, that is. Better from Russo. Lovely pass. Not the best set from Poro, maybe just thinking about the missed serve still. And for the second time in a row, Regas has to go volley into the block, then taps it off the block for the replay. Ishikawa, fingertips defended by Semenyu. And Bentara, the stabling influence yet again, comes in smooth as you like. Yeah, certainly a good... Good point scoring opportunity here for Bentara on this final swing. Milano had to do a lot on the pipe attack. Pace on that serve. Ishikawa tested. Well, it was an ambitious set from Poro. It might cost the point. Oh, Catania's done it again. Just brilliant play. Kalachi keeps it in the point. And Bentara waffles one wide would you believe it an unbelievable dig from Catania to save that rally the one-handed stab dig and then Bentaro with an attack air wide to give the point to give themselves a second set point Vitelli drags Poro away Kaziski off pace well defended off the block Regas to make up for that earlier serve and he does 22 points he matches Bentara from game one but more importantly than that he gives Milano a second set point all about the reason two set points gone begging for Milano Bentara whips it into play Regas forced to pass Ishikawa <laughs> that's incredible you just can't keep the big men out of the game Unbelievable, the serve targeting Reggers, which is the right target, go to the opposite. But then if he's out, you got to worry about Ishikawa, who's able to attack that high ball hard off the hands for another point. For Perugia, Ole Plotnitsky to start things off. Puts it in court. Ishikawa pressured. Out of system for Milano in the blue. And that's a terrific dig from Poro. Milano putting their bodies on the line in defense here but can't stem the tide.
It's another point for Semenyuk. He goes to 20 on the evening. Well, he's been a huge help to this Perugia side all match long. That time, getting a chance to swing on the counter attack after the free ball. It's another good hit. Kalachi gets it in play. Good defense from Catania. Oh, it's just wonderful from Milano. Perugia get another go here. And it's good enough from Semenyuk. Another player emerging as potential MVP material. Huge swings from Semenyuk, but huge defense as well from both sides to extend those rallies back and forth. But will it be enough? Perugia still have a, a mini break. Massive hit. Blockers contain it. Poto. This time goes Ishikawa. That is really sensible, intelligent distribution from the Milano setter. And that's what Ishikawa has done really well at tonight. He's been the supporting role to Reggers. Reggers has been the top scorer, but in situations like this, where Reggers is out of the play, it's always been Ishikawa going hard off the hand. Chips the tape. Unlucky for Catania, who'd already committed. Great swing from Reggers, but they've defended him twice now. Semenyuk can't put it down. Oh, no, not great from Potlo. Oh, Milano somehow keep that ball ticking over. And Ishikawa, with that superb controlled swing, gets the kill. You said swing by Ishikawa Milano doing a good job working through this that set way too low for Losera but they stay calm and collective for Ishikawa to do this right there with a the cross court swing and a massive moment for them off the tape Perugia attacking system block is red and that is it Milano close it down for a quite remarkable win and we go one game apiece in this incredible semi-final. Well, if we're honest, Matt Prosser, we were running out of superlatives. We were running out of words. That was Thanks for watching. Leave a like and make sure to subscribe to Power Volleyball for more volleyball videos.